Did you know that most swimming pool pumps run at a single speed, which for 99% of the time is more than twice what it needs to be? Wasting electricity and your money. And that by simply fitting a speed controller, you can reduce power consumption by up to 70%. I'm Chris Lee, a volunteer with Zero Emission Sydney North, a local community group focused on helping people save energy and reduce their carbon footprint. If you are one of the many pool owners with a single speed pump, this is an easy and economical way for you to reduce your emissions and save money. You see, alternating current pumps run in sync with the supply frequency. So to change the speed, you have to change the frequency. While pumps can have an inbuilt frequency controller, they cost about twice as much as simple pumps. So most pool installers go for the cheaper option and install a pump sized for the high flow needed for filter backwashing. The problem is that the power needed to push water around your pool pipework and filter increases exponentially with the flow rate. And conversely, you can realize a big reduction in power as you reduce flow, around 75% less power for about 40% lower flow. And at this lower flow, the filter will actually be more effective. You can achieve this by simply installing a separate controller to upgrade your single speed pump to variable speed. This controller starts your pump at full speed before reducing speed with a dramatic reduction in power consumption, which also reduces noise, improves filter performance and reduces wear on the pump. Allowing for some increase in pump running time, you are still looking at average savings of about $500 a year for an investment of some $1,000, so a payback of just two years. And in contrast to installing a new pump, you can do this yourself. A couple of screws to fix the unit to the wall and plug it in. So there you have it. A quick, simple and do-it-yourself way to save energy which pays for itself within two years. Why wouldn't you do it? Go to zerosydneynorth.org or the Sustainable Living section of the Council's website for more information.